This is the best this set has ever looked. You are not Gorgeous. Leaving with, you're Take not the leaving view with in. any of this stuff. We're talking do-it-yourself projects this morning. Long holiday weekend, people have time. We have Richard Camacho here from Home Depot. We're talking about how to make fountains at home to add some value and some curb appeal. Oh, absolutely. Um, these fountains, uh, they're really easy to install. You don't, you don't need no tools. Uh, most of them only come in two pieces. Yeah, show us that because you were just showing me. Yeah. This is so simple. Actually, pretty much you, just, you have here your, your tube, your tubing that goes to the pump, and you just set it in, fill it up with water, plug it into the wall, and you're ready to go. How about economically as far as like draining the uh, electric or jumping up the electricity bill? Well, actually, these pumps are consume less, to consume about 13 watts, so it's just about a CFL light bulb. So they're really, really, um, they don't want to take that much energy. Hmm. And actually, if you see this one, it contains some LED lights, which is still going to have some nice appeal on it, some lights on the, on the water, and it's still going to consume less electricity than a light bulb. And adding some flowers, some plants, some shrubbery, too, around the fountains, that seems to help. You brought some, too, to show yeah, us. Yeah, absolutely. It, it just adds to it. I brought some, some pentas and some fountain grass, uh, some portulaca, and actually, these are drought-tolerant plants. So they can be in the full sun and they won't die. Okay, I imagine you have a variety of these fountains that someone can pick up. Give us a price range. What, you know, the low end to the high end, what is it? Our low end will be $99. Our, our high end will be $200. $200? Yes. $200, does that come with someone putting it in for you? We'll put it in the car for you, no problem. <laughs> Richard will come to your house. Um, I'd imagine, too, this time of year as we're getting close to summer, it's hot out. Uh, these probably sell out pretty quickly, right? Or do you have yes. plenty in stock? I do. I always have plenty in stock, okay. but they go out of the shelf really, really quick. Richard, where are you located? I'm located in uh, North Old Mabry Highway um, in Carrollwood. Carolwood, okay. How about some of the other things that you brought here? You brought in some plants, you brought in some pots. You were, we were talking about this one because Ashley loves this one. I have my eye on it. I asked him if I could purchase it right here from the set. He told me and no. And he said, no, <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the stores. You can just come over and we'll help you out. I will. Actually, this is a ceramic pot. It's uh, hand painted and made in Spain. So it's a really, really nice pot. We have uh, reds, yellows, blues. And it's lots of people like it because you told me this is the last one in the store. And the red colored, yes. Gorgeous. Okay. Again, when you're looking at kind of sprucing up the outside of your house, what are some of the things you should be looking at? Either the pots, the fountains, anything else that you can think of? Well, it depends. It's all about location, uh, where you want to put it. Uh, if you want to we'll do full sun, make sure you have uh, full sun plants. If you want to do indoors, indoor plants. Actually, these fountains can be put outside in your, in your patio or inside the house, too, because they'll still contain ponds, pa fountains. They'll still contain uh, fountains. So you don't need to put any extra water or anything. Just fill it up once. Just make sure it's, it's running. Richard Macho Camacho. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Great tips. And also, people can go to abcactionnews.com. We've posted information about uh, some of the tips Richard mentioned, as well as uh, what you all have available at Home Depot. Thanks for being here, Richard. And, Thank you. and thanks for providing us with a new set. No we problem. don't want it to leave. <laughs> uh, we're going to leave you two right now before we had to break with a live look uh, from some Memorial Day events about to get underway in Oldsmar. You can see it.